Welcome to R&DW Adventures, another junk food in edition. I'm Renee. And I'm Daryl. And today we have the Yeehaw Pickle Company, um, pickles and dilly beans, um, which thank you to your sister. I had never heard of them before. I don't know why not. But um, we have the no frills dills, the garlic dills, the hot damn dills, and the garlic buster beans. So. Yeah, and dilly beans is a uh, copyright. So oh, this whoops, is not sorry. the actual dilly beans, but it is... Yep. They're spicy pickled green beans. Yeah. So, very uh, interesting. Yes. Uh, we found these at uh, Tractor Supply Company. I again. mean, you know, snacks from the hardware store and the local farmer's store. Or <laughs> but we had to get uh, uh, a jar of the beans for my sister yes, as well. Yes, we did. We did. And then I'm like, maybe we should just try them too. But I figure we should try them in this order. Starting so we'll with start the... with the no frills. Okay. Oh, that Okay. And we have chorks. I don't remember where we got them from. Uh, from uh, and teriyaki bags. Okay. Does this work? <laughs> Do we want to share one? Let's just one? share one. Here, grab it. So these are the uh, spears. Okay. To give you an idea of what that they looks stink. like. They are very uh, They smell aromatic. most radishy. And of note, there is no turmeric in these. Yes. So Renee is, can actually have these. So, yes. You want to take the uh, first bite? Ooh, crunchy. Mmm. Mm. These are good. Crunchy and tangy. Mm-hmm. Not sour, but tangy. Right. Ooh, I like these a lot. I like these a real lot. I'm giving them a four. I'm going to give it a four as well. I will note, I don't think this would be very good, like, on a sandwich. No, but next but to a sandwich. But they are awesome on their own. Mm-hmm. So keep it off to the side. Could see them next to a hot dog. Ooh, a relish would be good with this, actually. Chop it up. So, very Make good, but not really uh, uh, a sandwich kind of no, dill. No, but delicious. So who needs a sandwich? You can just eat pickles. Yeah. Especially when they don't have turmeric. I'm so excited. So let's move into the uh, garlic dill. Which I'm also excited for, but I know you, you don't love garlic. No, but I'm thinking this this is going to be a really good one for a sandwich. Mm -hmm. All right. You can taste it first. So this looks pretty much the same. It does. I love how crunchy these are. Mm. Very good again. I don't know if I put it on something. Definitely not. <laughs> <coughs> that is going to need some water. Too garlicky for you? Mm -mm. Or just made you... A little too juicy. Oh. <laughs> um, very good though. I'm going to still give it a three and a half I'm instead of a it. four. I'm still giving it... I'm still giving it a four. But I think the dill has better flavor. Yeah, the dill has better flavor. This, the flavor was uh, tamed down a little bit Again, by the garlic. I might take these and make a really good relish out of it. I mean, like chop them up and maybe add a little something to it. I don't know. All right, mm -hmm. so let's try the uh, hot damn dills. What's in them that makes them hot? Besides, I, don't know. I see the pepper floating on top. Yeah, I think it's, it's just the jalapenos. Um, chili peppers. Oh, it's All it chili says peppers. is chili peppers. Mm -hmm. And then again, a spear that pretty much looks the same. These are actually smaller, but that I assume that's just, you know. Just that one. Yeah. That is hot. Oh, yep. Go ahead and It's good. Here's the pepper that was just floating in the top. Yeah, you're you not it? really going to be able to see that. There you go. Um, yeah. But a little too hot. Again, maybe mix these with the garlic. Maybe. A little Get too a hot. Relish. Good, but a little too hot. I'm giving him a three and a half. I'm going to give this a two and a half. Okay. Maybe a three. I'll give it a three. I couldn't just eat those. But they are called, in their defense, hot damn pickles. Yeah. So... But I'm not tasting as much of the pickle flavor as, as I am the, the hot. Uh, hot. Right. I'll give it a three. Like I said, maybe mix it with a little tamer one. All right. 
-hmm. And we'll move on to our last one, which is the... Uh, Garlic uh, Buster? Bronick. Oh, Bronick. What's Bronick? Oh, Bronick Buster uh, beans. I'm not sure what that means. There's a pepper in here, too. Yep. Here. Oh, well, okay. And this one was sticking out, so I didn't even have to it, grab it. It had a stem. But it's a bean. It is a bean. This one, we probably each want one. Chili Because they're flakes. so small. So I think it's the same kind of chili pepper hanging out in the top. There's no more with little tails. My brother used to tease me with pickles that had tails. Ow, that hurts. That is very spicy, but much, much better than mm. the uh, hot damn dill. I think I'll still do this, though. What do you think? Go ahead. That looks very tasty. Mm -hmm. You can eat it. No. But... Mm. Wow, that is spicy. But I could eat these. They are very, very tasty. I'm going to give that a four. Yet. I'm giving that a four. I'm, it might give me hiccups later if I ate I one. was going to say, this is not one I can eat much of. I don't know how you would eat these. I would think just as an appetite, just put them out like on a relish plate or whatever. Yeah, I think so. But, wow. With this, you're going to need uh, something to... You, water won't do it. You'll need like milk or bread or crackers. I'm thinking cheese. Cheese, crackers, that yeah. kind of... Sp Ooh. <laughs> Alright, yes. on that note, <laughs> while we wrap up this one, check out the rest of our videos over here by clicking on our channel icon, hit the subscribe and the bell icon if you like what you see. On this side is going to be our junk fooding playlist, so if you like these taste test videos, we got a lot more of them over there. My lips are on fire. <laughs>